Hey guys, let's do a little bit of a story time. If you're interested in wanting to do a post back to go into medical school, I was a non-traditional student. I did my undergraduate in business and then I did an MBA. So I was purely business and didn't have a science background. And so I basically took all the prerequisites um, to apply to medical school. So if you're interested in how to do like a one year post back, kind of like do everything in one year, get accepted within a year and then matriculate into medical school the next year, um, this video would probably be for you. So I'm just going to walk you through like the classes I took and kind of the timeline of when I started um, so that maybe if you're interested, you can try to do the same thing if you kind of want to speed things up. And if you're like an older student and you want to kind of just get into medical school, um, this is how I did it. So let me pull up my AMCAS application. And so here's where it started. So in 2017, so my kind of last year of undergraduate, I decided I kind of want to do pre-med. But I ended up dropping that track um, a little bit later and started working for like six years and then I went into medical school. So in 2017, I took a placement test. So I basically studied the entire AP chemistry book to take a placement test into the general chemistry um, class, the first one, Gen Chem 1. And I took that in 2017 in the spring. And so that was pretty much the only class I took. So fast forward to when I actually went into medical school. I started taking my first prerequisite class, kind of restarting. I took Biology 211, which is Biology Majors and Cellular, with lab in 2000 and, oh, 2021, so the fall, quarter one. And then I also took General Physics 2 because I had AP credit from a long, long time ago, like 10 years ago. And then that was... Then I also took... Then I also took chemistry too as well, so I was continuing on into the series. And to get into that biology class, I actually had to take a placement test, so I skipped the first intro level of biology. You can do that at some schools, so that's what I did. So basically, I took biology one, chemistry two, and physics two um, my first fall semester. After the fall semester, so starting the December Christmas break, I started studying for the MCAT because I basically needed that score to be able to apply for the cycle in May. So I started studying with the MCAT Bros 300 page like psychology and social sciences kind of thing. And for about two weeks, and I started reviewing more of the chemistry for like chem, Gen Chem 3 and trying to teach myself the biology and the chemistry. So while I was teaching myself the MCAT through January through April, I took the MCAT in April of 2022. I was also taking in the winter quarter. So after my fall quarter, I took, um, let's see here. I took biology animals, so basically general biology two, um, general chemistry three, and I also took wait, hang on one second. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's right, I got confused. So in the fall, in the winter quarter, I took, so my second semester of doing pre-med, I took biology two, I took, I took organic chemistry one, in addition to taking general chemistry three, so I could double up if you ask for like permission. Um, and then I also took physics, no, I did not take physics. So I just took biology, chemistry two, and organic chemistry one. So then my spring quarter, so my third year, I did physics three, organic chemistry two, and that was it. And then, so at that point, that was all the prerequisites that I had to apply to medical school. And so in May, I filled out the AMCAS application. I had those classes done and I basically submitted my MCAT score because I got it back in May. And then while I was waiting for like my secondaries, interviews, and the whole application cycle, I also finished up my prerequisites. So in the summer, I did biology three, so plants. Um, and that was the only class I took in the summer. And then finishing up in the fall of the fall term, I did organic chemistry three. And then I also did, um, biochemistry one and for the classes that I or the schools that I was applying to they didn't need biochemistry two so I only did biochemistry one um, 
and that was about it. So basically it took me an entire year plus one extra quarter to finish all the prerequisites. And granted though, this is taking about like probably like around 18 or more credits per term, but it is doable. Basically I taught myself everything I needed to know for the MCAT. And so that really helped me with my classes so that when I was actually in the classes, it wasn't as much work because I had already seen the material. And also by having my MCAT score in for my application, it really took off that pressure of feeling like if I don't get a good score, then I'm not going to apply the cycle. Like I had my score before I applied. And so that really helped. Um, yeah. So if you're interested, you can totally do all the prerequisites pretty much in a year. Apply to medical school. So I applied in May of 2022. I got accepted, my first acceptance in early November or late October in 2022. So basically starting in the fall of 2021, I got my acceptance in pretty much the fall of 2022 and I matriculated this year. So that's kind of my story of how I did it. Um, if you have questions or what you need to do, um, please let me know, but that's how you can do a post a DIY post in a year.